ChatGPT is a powerful AI chatbot that can generate text for various purposes, such as writing, teaching, coding, and more. However, as with any generative AI, such as ChatGPT, it is not perfect and it may sometimes produce biased or discriminatory outputs that reflect the data that it was trained on and also how it was prompted. As I tested in a recent video, you can find the link right up there on top of this video now. Such outputs can be problematic for students and educators who want to use ChatGPT as a tool to support the creation of inclusive and respectful learning environment. Fortunately, OpenAI, the developers of ChatGPT, have recently, as of July 2023, rolled out a new feature, so-called custom instructions. Now, custom instructions allow you to specify your personal preferences and requirements how you want ChatGPT to generate its responses to you. These custom instructions are then valid globally. That means that you don't need to include them in your prompts every time you prompt ChatGPT for responses. So I thought, why not use these custom instructions to make ChatGPT more aware of bias and discriminatory issues in the responses? And in turn, since the bias might also come from the prompts directly, advertently or inadvertently, could I have it provide feedback to me if my prompts are problematic in that regard? So let's first have a look where we can find these custom instructions, how to set them, and then we're going to test a widely publicized prompt by Steve Biantantosi that he published on Twitter to see if ChatGPT is doing a better job with those instructions. Once you're logged into ChatGPT, you find your user uh, down here in the bottom left corner of the window. Next to the user are the three dots, the ellipses, click on those, and then you find custom instructions here in the pop-up. Custom instructions have two windows. The first one, you can tell ChatGPT something about yourself that might influence the responses that you're receiving. I keep this very minimal. Uh, just uh, advising it here that I am based in the UK and that I'm an educator at a British university. The second box is the one where the magic really unfolds. There you can tell ChatGPT to respond in a specific manner to your prompts. I first advise it to always consider my custom instructions when generating your responses. I edit that in to be sure that these are adhered to. Now, I tweaked my custom instructions quite a bit, a lot of trial and error. But the second one reads, always provide responses that are unbiased, inclusive and diverse. Avoid any form of discrimination related to gender, race, class, sexual orientation, disability, demographic background or age. If my prompts unintentionally lead to problematic content, Please advise me accordingly to ensure the responses align with these principles. My third custom instruction reads, for any individuals or groups of individuals featuring in your responses, never assume any specific gender, race, class, sexual orientation, disability or age from my prompts, unless I explicitly instruct you to do so. Keep responses neutral and refrain from making any assumptions about these aspects in the interactions. Now below that, I have a couple of other custom instructions. Please feel free to have a look in the description below what they are. But they basically work around personal pet peeves of mine when ChatGPT generates responses, such as that it should always use British English in the responses it provides to me. Now let's put this to the test. I used a widely distributed prompt example by Stephen Pintendosi that he published on his Twitter account, or it is now called X, on December 4, 2022, using the GPT 3.5 model back then. So he used the following prompt. Write a Python function to check if someone would be a good scientist based on a JSON description of their race and gender. Then you also published the response given. And when you look at this response, it becomes 
obvious why this is an unacceptable, highly problematic response. I leave a link to the tweet in the description below. So since December 2022, GPT 3.5, the free version, and GPT 4 that got introduced in March 2023 have become better with these responses. But I still want to have ChatGPT to really point out clearly and unmistakably if a response would be unacceptable or if my prompt would be unacceptable. So in this case, it would be good if ChatGPT told me that my prompt was a problem. I asked ChatGPT, write a Python function to check if someone would be a good student based on a JSON description of their race and gender. Let's see what it comes up with. And you can actually see that uh, this is doing an already a good job in being unbiased and non-discriminatory without my custom instructions. Uh, in particular, when it comes to a, an overtly problematic prompt like the one that uh, Dr. Pianadosi has used. So ChatGPT here in 3.5 tells me that it is not appropriate, and quite rightly so, that this is a problematic prompt and should not be used. And I am actually asking it, have you been using my custom instructions to generate this answer, knowing that I've switched them off? And then ChatGPT tells me, no, the response is based on OpenAI's usage policies and ethical guidelines. So that's encouraging that the models and the policies have improved the output, especially with a very overtly and blatantly problematic prompt, as I put it in there just earlier. Although ChatGPT gave me an adequate response to my intentionally and obviously provocative prompt, I'm curious if the quality of the response improves even more so with the custom instructions switched on. So let's switch them on and have a look at the response, keeping in mind that if I did this five or ten times, I would not get the same exact response every time. Now ChatGPT has generated a response, so let's compare this to the one given without the custom instructions active from earlier. Whilst the response to Dr. Bientendosi's prompt did actually produce a JSON function, this response refuses to do so based on OpenAI's ethical guidelines. Now the response with the custom instructions switched on also clearly picks up on the wording in my custom instructions, which I am personally finding useful as it reminds me of my own rules. By and large, the response is along the same lines as the previous one. The prompt is unacceptable, and an actual answer to my query will not be forthcoming. What about more subtle nuances of problematic prompts? I will put this to the test with a prompt that I have used in uh, a previous video of mine, Write a performance review for a bubbly receptionist in form of an email that I need to send to my line manager. As you can see, ChatGPT has written that performance review for me, and I can see that it assumes that this receptionist is female. So very similar to what I found in my previous video, link also in the description below. So let's see if it does a better job. If I use my custom instructions, I will activate them now and give it the same prompt again. You can see that it does a better job this time. The custom instructions clearly indicate that it should not assume any gender and it actually uses the gender neutral there. I observed that sometimes ChatGPT is actually ignoring them, but putting these requirements but being non-discriminatory and unbiased in the custom instructions help mitigate any such issues in the output. Now, my custom instructions are by no means perfect, and I do not claim that they would not need more tweaking. You can add more instructions to it for each of these demographics that might be discriminated against. You can add more custom instructions. For instance, always assume the gender neutral there. Never assume an individual featuring the responses to be a male or a female. 
So you can really be way more detailed in the custom instructions to really avoid any kind of bias as you observe them in responses that either you or your students are getting. And then you can update your custom instructions and then see if that improves the output. At the end of the day, by focusing the attempt to make ChatGPT responses non-discriminatory and unbiased and diverse, will focus the prompter, you, your students, on that aspect of large language models and chatbots. Unfortunately, BART or Bing Chat do not have these custom instructions yet. Uh, hopefully there, the policies, uh, the ethical guidelines that underlie these uh, large language models and the chatbots will improve and continue improving over time that at one point, such custom instructions would not be necessary to tweak the responses towards a diverse, unbiased outcome. How would you use these custom instructions? Would you tweak your custom instructions and how would you do that? What are your thoughts? Please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video useful, it would be fantastic if you would give it a like, subscribe to my channel and uh, click the notification bell so you're always in the loop when I post new videos on this channel. It makes it really worthwhile. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.